Oh, I forgot. There's fist bump. <laughs> yes. Oh, you, you, Hui. So nice to meet you in person. Yes, it's been a long time. Hello, I'm Dr. Wong Sing Wing. Hi, my name is Yu Hui. How did you feel when you first heard the diagnosis? The first thing that came to my mind was, this isn't real, it can't be me. I'm young and I have no risk factor. How can I be diagnosed with stage 4 non-small cell lung cancer? I was only admitted to the hospital because the doctor suspected I had TB. Yes, the most important learning point about lung cancer is that it only refers to cancer originating in the lungs, not cancer that has spread to the lungs. Lung cancer can be broadly divided into a smaller group called small cell lung cancer, forming about 10 to 15% of all cases, and a larger group forming 85 to 90 percent called non-small cell lung cancer and that was what Yu Hui has just shared with you. By and large, smokers can develop either small cell or non-small cell lung cancer while never smokers almost only develop non-small cell lung cancer. Do you feel pain in every breath you take? No, I did not feel pain at any point in time. At diagnosis, all I had was a shortness of breath and I was getting increasingly breathless. I later learned that I had water outside my lungs, which is why I started feeling breathless. People often think that lung cancer is only seen among smokers. Is it because you smoke? I used to think the same way, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Anybody with lungs can get lung cancer I'm a non-smoker and nobody in my family smokes. Lung cancer in never smokers is becoming a bigger and bigger problem in Singapore. About a decade and a half ago, we estimated that about a third of Singaporeans with lung cancer were never smokers. Three years ago, when we studied the statistics again, we noticed that it is almost half, 48% to be exact. So, Lung cancer is a significant problem in non-smokers. Just because you are a non-smoker, you are not at high risk, doesn't mean that you can ignore symptoms that suggest that something is going on in the lungs. Do you think about death a lot? Having this diagnosis is like having a sword above my head. Sometimes I forget about it because I feel normal and I'm living life as per normal, but sometimes I still get reminded of it. Yes, we can all understand why Yu Hui described as she's living with Democles sword hanging above her head because lung cancer in the advanced form cannot be permanently and forever cured. But it can be controlled. Very often, the public misunderstands and think that since lung cancer are mostly diagnosed at the late stage, stage 4, that life expectancy is going to be very short. You know, they learn it from the period drama that they watch or movies where patients will sort of meet their fate in three to six months, but it is not true. It can be controlled and sometimes for years. And Yu Hui, she has fought lung cancer successfully for three years and she is still enjoying a very good quality of life. And a good 20% of patients will go beyond five years. And as I mentioned, a lot of people think that lung cancer treatment, the treatment is worse than the disease, quality of life is bad, there's a lot of suffering going through the treatment. It's not always the case. The dramas are the reason why my friends tell me I don't look like a lung cancer patient. Caregivers and friends often don't know what we should say or do. Please share with us what we can do to make you feel better. Every cancer patient has their own experience and belief. It is important to respect those choices that they make and Caregivers, I think, they can help the patients get connected to a support group. SES has support groups that the patients can join. Yes, and a message to all friends and relatives of patients with lung cancer, please stay with the signs and stay away from common myths. For instance, there's no need to excessively restrict the diet of patients or to restrict their activities because 
these patients can actually live a life pretty much close to normal. And don't forget to ask the patient, how are you? What is one beautiful memory you had after diagnosis? It's hard to pinpoint exactly one beautiful memory. Time spent with my family now is precious and beautiful. And I learned that happiness can actually come from the simplest things in life. I can't agree more. Thank you. It's all right. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much.